Hello, dear friends and listeners. Today I'm going to talk about clinical results in the focus curve analysis of a new refractive multifocal intraocular lens. And here it is. It's the Rayner Galaxy. It has refractive spiral optics. It's a full range of vision IOL due to the continuous refractive power distribution that you can see uh, in the right graphic, the defocus course from far over intermediate to near is uh, very smooth, very continuous, uh, despite small print re reading, I think is not possible. And we now know it's not possible. I do not think, we know it's not possible uh, in most of the patients. And the left-hand side, you do see the uh, spiral optic, which is supposed to have fewer dysphotopsies and uh, no light loss, which also is a clear advantage in comparison to the diffractive uh, IULs we had up to now. This is a look at the binocular and monocular defocus curve. And you can see it's nearly a defocus capacity of four diopters. But in four diopters, uh, the quality of vision is going down. So I think three diopters is more or less the uh, real clinical excellence of this multifocal IOL. Uh, we all know, and we can see on the right hand side, um, the dysphotopsias, halo and glare phenomena of uh, diffractive uh, multifocal IOLs. Here is an example of the LISA tree, but the panoptics from Alcon or from Johnson and Johnson, all diffractive IOLs, more or less, uh, look at the study data, they do have halo and glare for topic phenomena. It's unavoidable. You do have diffractive uh, optics. You do have halo and glare. There's no way around it. Some people surprisingly really don't report about this um, halo and glare. You can see here some have less, but others have more. And the, the big problem for me is uh, that you cannot see in advance and you cannot know in advance if the patient will have this kind of uh, photopic phenomenon. It means imagine you're driving a lot at night time. I think this uh, is really annoying. Uh, so having a look at the one month post-op data of the Ray-1 Galaxy, this is way better. So uh, much less halo and glare and photopic phenomena, which I think is especially, especially important for those people driving a lot at night time. Um, so this is a clear advantage of the Reina Galaxy. So let's have a look at the three months post-op results and the defocus curve. The defocus curve here is uh, the, the, the light green is the binocular defocus curve in real life, in the real world, without any correction. The green one is monocular uh, with correction. So the green one is the pure power of the IOL. The light green one is the real life data. And you can see people according to this defocus curve should have a perfect distance vision. They have a very good intermediate visual acuity and they have a good near visual acuity. What is good, uh, no small print, but reading a book and newspapers. So, of course, the focus curve is one thing. The other thing is uh, how satisfied are our patients. So we measured that uh, in distance intermediate and near. And on the left hand side, I was a little bit surprised um, because I didn't get the report from my patients that the um, happiness or satisfaction rate of distance is moderate. Um, but uh, when we asked them, uh, how is your quality of vision? That's what they reported. So we docu documented here in only eight patients. I, I'm personally pretty sure um, if we do have more patients, if the number of patients goes up, uh, more the, the, the red column uh, at moderate will go to uh, good. Uh, but that's the results we had right now. Uh, and then again, if you say, okay, in far the satisfaction is moderate, how can you no longer wear glasses? <laughs> 
Okay, uh, but as you can see here, uh, the right graph uh, is about um, the question, how often do you wear glasses? Uh, and all patients don't wear glasses anymore. Uh, so, okay, but that was the question, uh, the answer of our patients. So uh, I'm reporting about this in a scientific correct way. Then this is <clears throat> for me, very, very good and uh, very enchanting because Halo and Glare here is compared from the Rayner Galaxy Spiral patient with Fakic patients. The Fakic patients were 126 of our employees. And our employees had more Halo and Glare than our multifocal IOL patients. And I think that's a small sensation and an excellent uh, result. So, to summarize uh, the results, um, this is the first full of range of vision intraocular lens um, that is uh, refractive. It has a high patient satisfaction, high independence from glasses, has hardly any halo and glare phenomena, and no light loss. So, I think it's really the alternative to diffractive multifocal RLs with no light loss and minimal halo and glare. And I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the company Rainer very much uh, to give me this uh, excellent IOL as the first surgeon out of the study um, from October uh, in Europe. So they gave me the possibility uh, to give the best uh, and provide the best care for my patients. And I'm very thankful, Rainer. I just want to mention it here um, for this opportunity. And um, if you do have other problems in listening to this uh, presentation uh, with a retina or glaucoma, don't please come and see me. <laughs> I don't have a clue anymore. I'm a really a refractive and cataract refractive surgeon. But uh, Professor Kaimak, uh, he is the head of our retinal and vitreous department and Carsten Klave uh, from our glaucoma department. They are really excellent, innovative, leading uh, surgeons. Uh, so if you don't have a refractive or cataract problem, uh, please go and visit them and not me. Um, I want to thank you very much for your very kind uh, attention. If you want to get into contact with me, that's very easy via social media or just premiumeyes.de, our homepage. And there are many ways to get in contact uh, with us, uh, phone, recall, WhatsApp, Dr. Lip, whatever you like. So thank you very much for your kind attention.